Um, so let's take a look at a couple other charts then, just a couple other ways to potentially view the market. Doesn't mean this is the way to view the market. This is a one way to view the market. And maybe this gives us another angle to view um, those hints of four-year cycle lows. So um, what do we see here? Essentially, right? We have the <laughs> yearly sum of realized profits. So people actually realizing profit by selling their Bitcoin, right? As soon as they sell their Bitcoin, they have realized a profit. Um, and so, yeah, this is profits in um, probably billions of dollars. Um, yeah, this would say like around the peak here uh, of November of last year, December of last year, right? Uh, it was a roughly about, looks like $452 billion of profits taken um, at that time on Bitcoin, right? Uh, and then here towards uh, the bottom, right? Uh, right now, looks like eh, realized losses is about 213, 210 um, billion, right? Something like that. So that's kind of an interesting um, reflection there. And you can actually see uh, here back, this was, looks like back in 2017. Uh, unfortunately, you know, I would say this uh, metric lags the market, but what you can see here in terms of the peak of realized profits, right, was around, I think back in the last bull market, um, going into the end, beginning of the bear market, actually. Um, that was around 111, and then the lows was around 50, right? So basically like a 2X differential uh, in terms of the peak to trough. And then here is also a 2X differential from peak to trough. So that's just kind of interesting that, you know, they're completely different in terms of like Bitcoin's price is obviously higher yeah. than where it was in 2017. So of course you're going to have the, this metric in terms of profits taken be much higher as well, but the ratio between them is the same, but, yeah. which is very, very interesting. So that's just, that's not saying the bottom is in exactly, but it's saying, Hey, we're like you were saying before, right? The six thousand yeah. dollar level is at least where we're at in the market. And, and the and the and the lower chart, right, where the, where the green and the red, like um, to all the way to the left hand side of the chart and stuff, is was that the twenty seventeen cycle or twenty thirteen? So this was Did that one, twenty. Yeah. This is twenty eighteen. Okay, so probably why we're seeing that is we we probably have a lot of the same market players and some of the larger. I mean, mm. this because it's tracking it is tracking B BTC. Correct. So this is, I mean, a lot. The I mean. There has been some change of the guard. Obviously, there has been some whale wallets that have drained a bit. You right. Know, what happens over time, right? There's a bit of the distribution, but there still is a lot of the major players in it in Bitcoin are still are still around. Right. Basically, so it, it makes sense that they are sort of having the same sort of pattern. It wouldn't be that that is pretty interesting. Um, I've heard I've, the, the, this. This is uh, with a, this is something like when we heard a couple on chain guys talk about, um, kind of talk about like there is sort of a. Um, kind of a demographics or some sort of like a study of like personality of wallets. Mm. And there, there could be an, you never know, there could be an age out or it's possibly that like the, the market's per performing a certain way because the people who are holding the most amount of the coins per perform that way. But then, then the, the entire like personality of the market changes a bit because the new whales come in and they mm. act differently. Yeah. Yeah. So, and the new uh, whales, I mean, this is, this is what, this is a, uh, what I think was biggest shift right, in the last bull market was institutions coming in. Yeah. I mean, that was the different player coming in, right? And those players, right, are trying to, with leverage, move the market enough. Um, I mean, you can see, you know, Sam and Alameda being part of that, yeah. right? Um, essentially, they're trying to move the market enough so that um, they can shake out, you know, the Bitcoin uh, and Ethereum from these long-term holders' pockets, take it, and then control the market, you know? So... Uh, yeah, it's just uh, it's a games Wall Street plays, but also, I mean, it is convenient. It's it's one of these things where I would say there's a lot of people out there right now saying, oh, crypto's a scam, crypto's bad because, you know, prices are down and stuff. It's like, well, look at every other market, right? Yeah. So, I mean, that's there's also that part of it in it, which is just, it's very coincidental that we're, I mean, we're in a market where everything's down bad. So it's just whatever.